it's wonderful to be part of this World Gunmakers evening. My name is Ian Bell and I'm the Chief Executive of the British Association for Shooting and Conservation, the largest of such organisations of its type in the UK and indeed in Europe. BASC continues to fight tirelessly for shooting and provide a significant raft of member benefits. But the most important point I want to make today is it is fantastic that in this COVID environment that we're going to see a really strong shooting season this year. That was doubtful at some point earlier in the year, but it's through the efforts of those who work on shoots and the organisations who support shooting to have laid the foundations for what will be a really good season. We work alongside our sister and partner organisations to fight for shooting, and the last couple of years have been pretty hard yards because the threats against shooting are significant, as we all know. So there is a spotlight upon us at the moment, which is one of the reasons why BASC has launched its Legal Fighting Fund, a fund in excess of a million pounds, in order to both proactively fight unfair and unjustified restrictions, and secondly, to fight legal challenges from organisations such as Wild Justice, who we all know have a particular agenda that is not balanced, is not sensibly fought, and is, in our view, extremist in many areas. Of course, I've touched on a little bit there about what BSC have done throughout this year. What I haven't touched on is our many visits to shoots, both member shoots and affiliated shoots, and shoots are just interested in what we're doing in order to provide guidance to uh, run a COVID compliant season. As I've said earlier, the spotlight is upon us and by looking at the various regulations and visiting shoots to give them guidance, we are going to be able to have a much more engaged and a much more active shooting season than we thought previously. But of course, we are under the spotlight. Shooting's under the spotlight. Let me give you one example. Raptor persecution. Uh, Chris Packham in the RSPB in a recent interview said that there are probably no more than 100 people engaged in raptor persecution. Now, that is a really tiny proportion of the shooting community probably about 0.01%, absolutely tiny. So that needs to be put into perspective. But equally, the shooting community need to realise that where this is still happening, this is really damaging us. And so not only is this activity illegal, and we at BSC and all our partner organisations have made a very clear zero tolerance statement, it's about obeying the law and it's about conducting ourselves in a way that we're going to allow our grandkids to be shooting and not just us. But equally, it is important, as I've just said, this needs to be seen in perspective. It's a small proportion of people who shoot engaged in illegal activity. Let's drive them out. Let's make sure that they do not have the opportunity to draw the spotlight upon us. We're looking forward to a fantastic season. The BASC staff are out and about visiting shoots, engaging with members. The office-based teams are working hard on wild justice challenges, engaged with government in terms of licensing, licensing fees, consents for wildfowling, judicial reviews, as I've touched on, and also the whole general license piece, which is still yet to come to fruition. So busy time for us, but an interesting and challenging time. And I look forward to seeing some of you either virtually or face-to-face -face out around the shooting bazaars. Thanks very much.